Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm actually on break at work right now, and I f just got done working on the car, and I figured it'd be a good time to talk about last night, what happened at Locals and stuff. Um, I don't know if you didn't watch the video last night, but uh, I finished Locals last night. I, like I said, I play-tested the sealed-only deck before we started, and I played, I don't know how many duels, quite a few with my boy. His name's Joey. Um, play-tested it a little bit. Uh, yeah, it didn't go good, man. Like, I lost every game, and I got stomped out every game like I expected. My locals is very, very competitive. Like, it's a pretty large scene. Like, we get, on a slow night, we probably get 30. On a busy night, we probably get about 60. And I would say, if we get 30 people, I would say probably, I don't know, maybe... 12 to 15 are really good players like i mean they go to regionals ppg events like they're really into it i mean they're very good like we get a lot like last night we probably had closer to 20 really solid 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 good players and a lot of them play meta so you know what i mean like my sealed only deck is not going to perform we didn't do good so let me give you a rundown of what happened after round two because um, i started off two and oh and that's where i left off in the video last night uh, round three, we end up dropping to, uh, Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon's a bitch. Uh, I'll, that's like my Achilles heel with zombies, unfortunately. It's like the only deck I can't handle. Don't ask me why, but it is. So, I well, we actually go to three games. I just lose, uh, the, all right, I'll, he won the first one. I won the second one. He won the third one. Um, if I can set, he just won the, pretty much won the dice roll and just, you know, got to go, so... There ain't much you can do about it. It was very, it was pretty close, but he still beat me. Um, round four, I play against Paleozoic Frogs. Um, I we went to three games that one too. End up beating, uh, taking that game, and right at that time we're three and one. I end up playing. Uh, I, well, hold on, before I even go to the next round. Uh, at first, uh, I win the dice roll. I go first. I'm kind of uh, unsure of what he's playing because this guy's known for playing some like, you know, crazier stuff. So, um, like last last locals, he played uh, Salamangre at the time for that. It was like uh, some type of Shadal Dinos, and this week he played uh, played Paleozoic Frog. So, uh, starting off game one, I win the dice roll. I make my uh, board. I finish on Vampire Sucker doom king and a strike and a, i think maybe a crackdown in the back i'm not sure i can't exactly remember but anyways um then i pass turn he sets four passes i'm like what the fuck is he playing now at, I did, at this point i didn't know that what he was playing so i just was like all right cool so he must be i thought he was playing maybe mystic mine or you know something like that i didn't, I didn't even think of paleo frogs so i you know start my turn he goes it makes you know starts responding to everything i do he takes game one so i'm like fuck man so I, i'm like all right cool whatever um side in some cards you know side in like a whole bunch of like you know back road destruction and stuff like that uh panker tops side in panker tops you know stuff i can just you know pop shit with I instantly destroy him second game. Like, it was quick. Like, since I finally knew what he was playing, um, I take the game two. Game three actually goes like 10, 15 minutes. I end up winning. Life point count was like, I think I had like 20 some hundred to zero. Um, it was really, really close. It, it's just, man, Ronan Tone and Dupe and Swamp and Toad, totally awesome. They're fucking good, man. They're hard to go up against. If you're not ready for Paleozoic Frogs, and it's like a lot of people's playing it now, you're like, it's going to take you by surprise. If you do not know that deck, it's going to get you. Like, But fortunately, I won that one. So then we go into uh, the next round, uh, which we're playing Danger Blue Eyes. Now, start off, I didn't know what guy was playing. Again, this is another one of those players that, like, last time he was playing Striker, and the time before that he was playing uh, Chaos Max Turbo, and now he's playing Blue Danger Blue Eyes. So I was like, all right, I didn't know this at the time, so I go, I win the dice roll, roll go first, I set up my board, I end on BLS and Doom King uh, starting his turn on the standby. Um, he looks at his hand, 
He's like, uh, but I can't do anything. He's like, I just, I can't even, he couldn't even set a car. Like he apparently opened up really bad. He didn't tell me what he opened up. So he didn't even put down a card, nothing. So I'm like, okay, sure. My turn. And he's like, yeah, go ahead. You're good. And so I draw, I draw another Uni zombie, you know, send Mizuki, do a whole bunch of, I turbo out another fucking Doom King. Like it was just, so I do two Doom Kings and, uh, BLS and he just instant scoops. He's like, we'll just go to game two. Uh, okay, so at this point, since he didn't even play a card, I still didn't know what he was playing. So, you know, match two, uh, or round two of the match, I'm like, all right. So I didn't side anything. I just left this thing because I sure, still didn't know what he was playing because he didn't even set, he didn't even put down a card. And I won the first one without him even playing a card. So he goes, he starts doing his stuff. He specials a alternative from hand because uh, he goes first. And I'm like, all right, uh, so we're playing Blue Eyes, but I didn't know which variant yet. You know, I thought I was maybe just playing Chaos Max like he did that one time before. No, it was Danger Blue Eyes. Uh, long, or sh long story short, Danger Blue Eyes is... Legacy decks are... You can get them okay. Like, they're, they're okay, but honestly, my opinion on Legacy decks are not the greatest. Some of them are good, but the Danger, the, the Danger Blue Eyes build that he was playing, like, do I like it? It was okay, um, I beat the living hell out of them. So, that ends that. Uh, next round. Next round, we played, uh, Code Talkers. Next round, we played Code Talkers. And that was an easy go. Uh, take out the Code Talkers, no problem. Code Talkers was pretty much a buy. Um, which I didn't expect to see that. I didn't even know the guy, so it was the first time I ever seen him there take that we end with the night i think we was like uh four or five and one something like that but anyway so at the end of the night we're getting ready to collect our winnings and right before he passes out winnings he said guys listen up ots 12 is delayed by like two weeks he's like so we still got ots 11 or y'all can take uh, or y'all don't have to take this or take it on credit so I was like, uh-huh, what the hell should I do? So he calls my name. Oh, by the way, we end up tying. Okay, so 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th all tied. We all tied. Um, I can't remember how many players we had. We had really high number. It was like 40-some uh, players or 50-some players. I can't remember. It was a really big one. We had like six rounds or, yes, yeah, I think six rounds. And um, so I was like, all right, what should I do? So I get one pack of OT at OTS 11 to take home and so I was like all right so I can get I get two more packs of OTS 11 to, to spread the tournament and I take the other two that I earned and I put them on credit for next week so I can get them next week so I got two pack or three packs on me I was like I know I'm taking one home from sure but I got two other packs that I was like maybe I can trade these away so I was like, all right, cool. So I go talking to some of my friends there, and they got a whole bunch of cards and stuff. So I was like, maybe they'd be interested in trading for some packs. I mean, I can maybe get something I actually need or can use at least because, like, I really don't have luck with OTS packs. I mean, sometimes I do, but I'm really waiting for the OTS 12. So, you know, we got two on credit. I'm taking one home, and I'm trading two packs. So I trade two packs, and I get some cards. And so I did trade for some cards. Um, since we're not buying singles at all, period, anymore. I was going to do the structure deck, buy the singles, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do trade and, and opening. So I trade some packs, and I end up getting like eight cards or ten cards, something like that. I got a pretty decent amount. Um, dude cracks them open after we trade just because he wanted to wait to see what I, he traded for to see if he got, like, see if he fucked himself or not. Yeah, he didn't get jack shit. I love it. I think he got a token and uh, something else, nothing good. Um, it was really, really bad. So I'm glad I traded those two packs away. I did not open my other pack. I got it at home, and I cannot wait till next week to get the OTS 12. Or it might be next week or the following week. I, get, I have them on credit. Um, so pretty much I just want to give you all a rundown of what happened. I end up tying for fourth, but since my last name ends in a fucking K, I placed eighth technically. So it kind of sucks how they do that i wish they didn't do that i wish they just went ahead and say you like tie for fourth but i mean hey what it's whatever um it was it was fun it was pretty cool uh i had a good time my zombies always perform well they always will perform well and that's the only reason why i did it so we got an ots so tonight's opening we're gonna have an ots one and i'm gonna show you some of the cards i traded for 
and I had a really good time, guys. So if y'all, you know, still following us, appreciate it. Give a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, you know the drill. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. Y'all take it easy.